Some people say that Hindus are idol worshippers. What is your response to that? I D L E, idol worshippers. I D O L. Okay. So Hindus are definitely not I D L E, idol worshippers, right? They do a lot in their worship. If you ask any Hindu who worships the deities, we call it deities, which is a far more respectable term. If you ask a Hindu who is devotedly worshipping a deity or idol, as you may say, now what is your concept of God? Is this stone the only God that you understand? Practically 99.9% .9 of the deity worshippers will say, no, God is all-powerful. He is all-pervading. He is everywhere in this world. He is seated in my heart. But this is his manifestation, which is helping me love him and engage my mind in him. All right, so you would call it idol worship if their concept of God was limited to stone. But if that stone is a symbol of the Almighty, then it is deity worship. Symbols have been used in all religious traditions. Now, in Islam, deity worship was strongly condemned. But then they created their own symbol they have the Kaaba. And any Muslim throughout the world, when they read the namaz, they face the Kaaba to read the namaz. What is the need of doing that? The Quran Sharif says, Huval awwal, huval akhir. Allah miya khudavan taala, sab jaga hazir nazir hai. He is everywhere. Why are you facing the Kaaba? It's a symbol that is helping you evoke your devotion, your sentiments towards the Supreme Almighty. Other religious traditions have their own. In Christianity, they have the cross. They have the deity of Mother Mary. In Buddhism, the deity of Buddha is so common. Right? So, in each case, it is a symbol that is evoking the best sentiments in people. Well, why not have it? Why reject it? Swami Vivekananda, when he came to USA, he was the first Swamiji to come from India. And he was questioned. These Hindus seem to have such inert intellects. They worship stone as God. But they accepted Swami Vivekananda was extremely knowledgeable. He was once introduced, asking Swamiji if he can give knowledge, is like asking the sun if it can give light. Yet they are questioning him about deity worship. Swamiji said, my guru Ramakrishna Paramahans, before him, my knowledge was like a drop before the ocean. That is how enlightened Ramakrishna Paramahans was. And yet, he used to worship a deity, an idol of Ma Kali. So if by worshipping a deity, one can reach the level of Ramakrishna Paramahans, what is wrong with it? Right? All, oh, like I said, devotees around the world have used images. There was once a movement in India. And the leader of that movement strongly condemned deity worship. This was kind of a reaction to Christianity spreading in India. So it was like a reform movement. That was the Arya Samaj. And the founder was Swami Dayanand. So there's a story of one saint. He went to the Raja of Alwar 
the Raja of Alwar was an Arya Samaji and he strongly condemned deity worship. But he had the picture of Swami Dayanand on his, the wall of his palace. So the Acharya, when they got into a discussion about the relevance or the irrelevance of images and symbols, and this Raja condemned it strongly, that Acharya took down the picture of Swami Dayanand, threw it on the ground and stamped it with his feet. The Raja almost blew over in fury. He said, what are you doing? The Acharya said, why are you getting so agitated? It's just a piece of paper. Piece of paper! It's image of my Guru. The Acharya said, so you have created the sentiments of your Guru in that image. You too are doing deity worship. According to the Srimad Bhagavatam, there are eight kinds of deities. Shaili, Daru, Mai, Lauhi, Lekhya, Lepya, Chasaikati, Manumai, Manimai, Pratimartha, Vidha, Smrita. Deity made of stone, Shail. Made of wood, Daru. Made of the different metals. Made of jewels made of paint and manomai, made in the mind. The highest kind of deity worship is, you bring the image of God in your mind and with the help of that inner deity you love him. But that is very sophisticated and the masses cannot be expected to meditate on the image of God. That is why our scriptures and our acharyas gave this simple way of helping people connect with God and progress by giving us the system of deity worship. All right? It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. At the same time, the scriptures say it's not compulsory. You don't have to do it. You can go ahead and make the deity with your mind as well. All right. Thank you.